Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, welcome to everybody. My name is Chris Yost. I have the privilege of being the lead pastor here at Crossway. If you haven't guessed, today is a very different day of worship at Crossway. Today's what we call Change the World Weekend, and I'll say just a few brief words about that here in a few moments. But um, today is a day where we as a church consider our acts of service as a part of our worship, and it's here to res- inspire you in your daily lives, that you can make a difference. There are going to be several projects that we'll highlight in a few moments about, uh, or in terms of what are we actually going to be doing to make an impact in our community. So you're invited to pick any one of those. This service is um, very brief in here, and then it's long out there in acts of, wor- uh, of service, okay? So with that, let's pray. Jordan's going to have a short musical, lead us in a short musical worship. We're going to celebrate Holy Communion, and today, in order to get us out there, if you have an offering, if you brought your offering with you, there are two baskets at the back. We're going to invite you to place it there. You can e-give on the left, um, but just do that on your way out today, and then uh, we'll have all the folks who are leading stuff come up and say a word uh, here in a few minutes. God, thanks for this day, and thank you, God, to be a part of a worshiping community that is active in remembering that our service to you happens in our service to our neighbors. We ask that you bless this day, let your Holy Spirit be upon it, and help us, God, to do our part to change the world to your kingdom's purposes. In Jesus' name, amen. So I want to invite you as you're able to rise, and let's sing. We're going to sing a song called God of the City. So if you know this one, I want to invite you to sing it out this morning. You're the God of the city. You're the King of these people. You're the Lord of this nation.
is still to be done in this city. Let's tell God thank you this morning. Let's give him some praise. Amen. If you'd like, have a seat real quick. Uh, we do have a few announcements on ways we can serve uh, in the coming weeks. Um, next weekend, uh, fellas, don't forget, it is Mother's Day. All right? So don't forget, Mother's Day weekend is next weekend. Crossway celebrates, and we celebrate by serving other folks. At Lakeside Manor next Saturday, we're going to be hosting a brunch um, if you have any questions, you can sign up in the notebooks. And Miss Gail Nissing is sitting right here in this beautiful blue shirt. Gail, you'll give them a wave. All right. So you can see her if you'd like to come out and help out with that. Also, we are helping sponsor. We're literally uh, headlining co-sponsors with Union Park for the Panther Prowl and Cub Crawl. Cub Crawl. There we go. Um, on November the 20th, our youth group is going to be uh, manning the... Um, uh, turnaround station and our church has been asked to provide a booth at naval middle school we need your help to go be the church please sign up in the notebooks or see nick lutringer right there uh, vacation bible school registration is underway it is from june 26th through the 28th 6 to 8 p.m right here at crossway so kiddos you need to get registered but guess what just because you kids might be growing up and heading out the door doesn't mean we don't need your help if you'd like to do uh, both sign up your kids or volunteer see miss jennifer bordelon and she's right there there we go or miss laura krishna who's right there and they can get you set up and a big deal folks crossway is made up of people who live out their vows of uh, 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 serving the church with their prayers, presence, gifts, service, and witness. And our church is in need of some help. If you've considered serving on one of the connection teams, or if you want to help, but if you know what an usher is, if you want to help usher, we need your help. Um, you can sign up in the notebooks. Uh, Dallin Morgan is right up here. Um, and it's not like it once was. Some folks in here, remember we used to call them setup teams because what was your main job, right? Setting up and tearing down. Nowadays it's connection teams. 30 minutes before service, 30 minutes afterwards. We need your help. You do two weeks on, four weeks off. So it's not like you've signed your life away, but we do need your help. Um, I wanted to share with you a, a brief scripture reading. And um, because it is Change the World Weekend, I'm not going to go through and preach the whole thing. But I've read this to the team or to the crew last night. Whoops, there we go. That's pulling up. And um, it's a reminder of why do we do this? Why do we have these kind of a days? Um, from uh, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 13 through 16, there's a great amount of teaching that Jesus is doing around this text. Have you ever heard of the Beatitudes? That's where this is all encapsulated close to. But he says, you, that's not somebody else, it's you, and it is the Texan tense of y'all. Y'all are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness ever be restored? It's no longer good for anything. It's thrown out and it's trampled underfoot. You, y'all, are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but they put it on a lampstand and it gives light to all the house. In the same way, let your, y'all's, light shine before others so that they may see y'all's good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. I don't know about you, but 
there's something inside of us as disciples of Jesus Christ. When we read through the Gospels and we see the world that Christ said is possible, how often do our souls cry out, it doesn't have to be this way. Maybe you're at Walmart and see dysfunction junction at work. Maybe you are the dysfunction junction. That has happened to us too. Maybe you've gone through and seen modern forms of poverty, of hunger, of ignorance. You know what, folks? Every time we see something like that at work, that's God calling us to bring about the kingdom of God's work. That's how the Methodists started. When they saw children being exploited as uh, basically child slave labor in mines, they went through and it was the Methodists who set work practices that took the kids out of the mines. When they realized that was instill or parking them in a place of poverty, they realized that education was the way out. And for all of its good or bad, the fact is, is public education started because the Methodists said children deserve an education. It was the hospitals that the Methodists went through and institutionalized, not in its current form, and that's for another discussion. But the fact of the matter is, there were needs in their day, and they became salt. They saw the needs in the world and inspired not just change in others, but they went out and made the change happen. Now, I'll just tell you straight up, I'm a total Xer. And sometimes when I, we use the words like, we're going to change the world, right? If you're an Xer, you understand the cynicism that builds going, how are we going to change the whole world with a little garden or with a little library, right? Let me tell you what, I'm gonna, this is the only story you're going to hear all day today. My mentor told it a hundred times, but it's a story of a guy that's walking down on the beach and as he walks down to the beach, he notices there's this huge wash up of starfish. Tens of thousands of starfish all over the beach. And it's an extreme low tide. And you can see that these starfish are just drying out and dying in the sand. And as he walks, he sees this young lady who's just running up to the beach and grabbing a starfish and running it back to the ocean and tossing it out there. And he's sitting there and he observes how she does this five, ten, fifteen times. And he finally walks up and he says, you know what you're doing? I mean, it's That's real thoughtful and it's pretty noble of you, but there's tens of thousands of starfish out here. You're not really going to make a difference. It doesn't matter. And she ran up and she grabbed another one and she took it and she threw it back in the water and she said it mattered to that one. Folks, the things that we do are changing someone's world. And there may be tens of thousands more but it matters to someone. Don't forget, folks, you are both God's means, God's end, and God's purpose in changing the world to look more like the kingdom of God. That's why we do days like today. Your discipleship, what you do to change the world, it happens every day right where you're at. It matters to your neighbor. It matters to your family. It matters to the stranger. It matters to Jesus. Don't forget, he said, whatever you've done unto the least of these. When you saw me naked or saw someone naked, you gave them clothes, you clothed me. When you saw someone hungry and you gave them food, you fed me. Let's go inspire some folks. You inspire me. That's why we do this. So now we're going to share in the meal of Holy Communion. This is our opportunity to be fed both in body and soul upon the nourishing presence of Jesus Christ. As a reminder, this table, it doesn't belong to Crossway. It doesn't belong to the United Methodist Church. It belongs to Jesus Christ. So no matter what tribe or denomination or background you have, if you're seeking God's peace, you are more than welcome to come and participate at this table. There also are gluten-free elements. So if you need gluten-free, if you'll let your servers know, please um, uh, just come up and participate. Afterwards, if you'd like to take a few moments to pray, you're invited to do so. Let's pray. God, we thank you to be a part of a people that don't just passively say that we're Christians, but rather understand that love as a Christian is a verb. It leads us forward. It causes action. It overflows from our lives and it splashes upon all of those that are around us. 
We thank You, God, for the well of living water that we've been able to drink from. And we pray that through today's works, through today's actions, through today's inspiration, that others would find the living water of Jesus Christ and be able to drink freely from the well that we have. In Jesus' name, Amen. Almighty God, we pray that You pour out Your Holy Spirit upon these gifts of bread and of the cup. And that you make them be for us the body and the blood of Christ. And your Holy Spirit upon us gathered here and all of your saints throughout the world that we would be your church. Amen. On the night which he gave himself up for us, our Lord took bread and he gave thanks. He blessed it. He broke it. He gave it to his disciples. He said, take and eat this all of you. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In a similar way, he took the cup and he gave thanks. He blessed it. He gave it to his disciples. He said, take and drink of this, all of you. This is the cup of the new covenant poured out of my blood for the forgiveness of your sins and the sins of many. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Those who are helping serve will please come forward. <clears throat> table is set. Come to the gospel feast. We're grateful for God's presence. We are grateful for God's inspiration that sends us forward to serve. A few quick notes before we uh, break out. First of all, if you're helping lead a project, um, stand by. I'm going to ask you to stand up, wave so people know who to go to. Uh, make sure that we get all the projects uh, uh, out there for folks. Um, there are outside things, there are inside things, there's physically intensive things, and there's some lighter work that can be done. So everybody should have a place they can serve today. Um, as a few uh, logistical notes, next weekend, uh, my wife Melissa graduates with her Master of Education degree. So woohoo! Yay! Um, with that, even though it's Mother's Day weekend, we'd asked Dallin to preach next weekend, I don't know, was it three or four months ago? So she's preaching next weekend. Um, I will be here the following weekend um, as a special request. I'll be doing a sermon I did seven years ago, and you can tell it's so long ago because the sermon series was iPod God, and we talked about different songs. Yeah, I know, that's kind of funny, huh? Um, we talked about different ways that songs had inspired us in our faith. And I'll be um, reprising you twos. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Then the next weekend will be confirmation weekend. On Sunday morning, we'll actually be receiving our confirmands into fellowship here at the church. It's Labor Day weekend. Um, Memorial Day weekend. I always do that. Um, and uh, that way folks can actually travel. So if you have folks that want to be a part of um, that special weekend, they can get here. Our final weekend will be June 3rd and 4th. So I want to uh, remind you that then um, Dallin will be preaching in June. Um, our district superintendent will be coming out the next weekend. And then Billy Eccles Richter, the senior pastor at Grace Avenue, our, our sponsor church, is going to come out and share word the weekend before Pastor Alex gets here. So that's the schedule. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Let me say, actually, everybody, if you would, let's rise. When we get out of whack on services, I'm just always thrown. Um, Luke 10 is where I'm going, Jeff. So why are we about to go do all of this, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's read this together. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do this and you shall live. All right, Lending Library. Where's the Lending Library team at? Oh, you get on Buddy and tell him we missed him. You know what? Catherine can direct you to Buddy if you want to help with that. Um, our garden team, our, our community garden, Chris Krishna is right over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Slurp, the summer lunch and reading program, they're going to be leveling books, sorting books, getting the that set up for the library. Who's our Slurp person? 
or oh, Laura Krishna is right over here. Um, then we have oh, I'm drawing a blank. Veterans, thank you, Emma. Where we got? There we go. Uh, the uh, veterans program. Who's helping doing the veterans stuff? Okay, Catherine is right here, and then Dogs of Hilltown is outside, and that's actually an outside agency who's here. They're here to help do pet adoptions. So, if your kid's been begging for a puppy, it's your lucky day. All right, go for the name of God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit forevermore. Amen. Don't forget, if you have an offering, place it in the basket on your way out, or you can e-give on your left.